Stevie Lane 5 1, turn right, heading 180. 1 4 Papa, turn right 245, report localizer established. Two, Concept aircraft could either be one of two things, ingenious and a true aircraft of the future that dictates the way aircraft manufacturers are looking at moving, or a pipe dream that never really will get off the ground. For concept aircraft, Airbus and Boeing are usually the most notable, but today we step away from the big two and over towards Embraer, who in the past 24 hours have unveiled their own new concept aircraft of the future. The concept aircraft of the future, according to Embraer, has the potential to replace all regional jets that seat around 50 passengers, with this new aircraft looking at seating 70 to 90 passengers, depending on the configuration, and of course, given this being the early stages, there's potential further tweaking to come. The biggest takeaway from this concept though is the rear-mounted engines. While it's a turboprop design, Embraer says that they are looking at sticking true to the foundation they have already built with this aircraft and more so company. However, they'll be able to ensure the cabin is quieter given the placement of the engines. For the aircraft being replaced, you heard me make mention of the 50-seater market. While this includes the ERJs already with Embraer, especially those that are indeed aging, and that of the CRJ200s. While aircraft manufacturers look at releasing newer aircraft, for both Airbus and Boeing, the 70 to 90 seater market has been left relatively untouched, and it has been untouched for a considerable period of time. Boeing has no regional jet that is capable of fitting into this sector, and certainly is not eyeing up anything according to reports, with focus more sitting on the 737 MAX, the Boeing 787, the new upcoming 777X, and of course the currently unreleased NMA, or at least something that's going to compete with the A321 XLR's success. Whereas with Airbus, while you could say the A220 has been a good hit with regional operations, it ultimately still is not in that 70 to 90 seater market. That's sure isn't going to garner thousands of orders, but it still is a niche that has demand worldwide, and that needs to be fulfilled. Typically, the A220-100 can seat around 135 passengers at a maximum capacity. However, overall, the A220 is designed to seat 100 to 150 passengers. So you can see that ultimately, while this may be a good aircraft for some regional operators, it does not slot into the 70 to 90 passenger range. Embraer makes note, that they've already seen interest from US carriers for this turboprop, and with this being introduced to the aviation industry, I'm sure that would only grow. We're still a while away from the official launch of this aircraft, with prototype testing at the very least years away. And while Embraer haven't fully committed to this concept yet, it does offer us a little bit of an insight into just what the future holds, and where the goals and also ambitions for Embraer lie. And I'm sure we'll all be following it very closely as time moves forward. And for one, I'd be very excited to see something like this join up to the industry. What are your thoughts on the concept though? Feel free to drop it down below in the comments section. And like always, thank you very, very much for watching. I will see you all next time.